All right, uh, PC boards. Uh, again, thank you to PCB Way for supplying free PC boards for the channel. Um, I made these for my new LCR meter. I wanted to do an experiment, okay? So let's take a look at one of these boards. Pull one out, pull two out. Um, so they are quite simple. They have uh, locations for four BNCs. So this is gonna go on the front of the instrument. And there's going to be uh, two sources and two sense lines. And then I have a connector here. So it's a Kelvin connection up to the up to the connector. So the source lines go through here and then that forces a current into your part and then the sense lines come up. So it's always a nice Kelvin contact at the connector, not actually at the device. Sorry, I got interrupted by the um, uh, auto shop. I'm having my brake stunt. <laughs> I was going down a hill the other day and the brakes were fading on me. I went, oh geez, better get those fixed. Anyway, where were we? Uh, anyway, yeah, so it's going to be a, uh, a Kelvin contact right at the connector, uh, some BNCs. Now, uh, because this is actually not only a PC board, but it's actually mechanical in nature as well, uh, because this is the only thing going on there, I want this very, very rigid. Now, when you have PC boards manufactured, you can choose the thickness and uh, generally, let's see, where's a PC board? There's one right in front of me here. Um, generally, you get a, a 1.6 millimeter board. Uh, that's a standard thickness, 062 inches. Um, I made these uh, 2.4 uh, millimeters, so they are very, very stout. Uh, so, so they, when you put them on, they won't, they won't bend. Remember. Uh, well, anyway, I'll show it to you here. So this is with the uh, connectors loaded, and when you put it on, I don't want the thing flexing because each one is pushed on differently. Now, let me talk about the BNCs. Um, I ordered these BNCs. They're all the same, it, and you can see, well, wait a minute, those two are different. Well, what I did was I took these connectors and I took it with a Dremel tool and I saw some split, uh, some uh, slits in the sides and then broke them apart and uh, ended up with just the middle part. So if you just take take the spinny part off of your BNC, that's what you're that's what you're left at, left with, left at with. Anyway, <laughs> that's what's that's what's left over. Um, and so this will now go on. And you just spin the outside too, and it'll suck it in. Now I probably should uh, do some 3D printing of the little levers that uh, these guys usually have, but but this will do for now. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go try it out. I wasn't particularly um, careful with any impedances or anything. I don't think it's necessary for this particular design, but it does have a, a, a solid ground plane on one side and a solid ground plane on the other side, and then some really heavy traces that should have pretty low impedance. Um, so I think these are uh, two millimeter or three millimeter, I think these are two millimeter traces. Um, so yeah, pretty stout. So um, I bought a bunch of them thinking that maybe I'll build different fixtures. Maybe one fixture for um, surface mount parts or uh, maybe find a better connector, a zero insertion force connector or low insertion force connector or something. But right now I've just put on kind of one of these Arduino type connectors. Um, it should be just fine. So let's, uh, let's go pop it on and see if it does something. Um, so when you put this on, you have to make sure that the little bayonets are vertical. And then it will then it will pop on. Look at that, like a glove. If you uh, want to design one of these yourself, uh, I took a lot of research, but the center spacing of these um, connectors is 22 millimeters. Um, so it's kind of an odd spacing, probably from the days when these were built in Japan. Uh, that's where what's where the uh, 22 millimeter thing came from. But anyway, now it's on there, so we can take a um, take a through hole part and jam it in there. Now it's it's um, uh, three and three. It's it's a six a six long connector, but these three and these three are connected together, so you can have different space spaced parts. Um, so there we go. You know, a thousand picofarads. It's working great. Now, what I wanted to see if it would calibrate, remember I had calibration problems before when I had those fake cables. Um, so, uh, when it's open, uh, we should be able to do a, a cal open, and so now it's going through its, uh, its cal open. That passes. And I need to have a short, so I, I built a little shorting bar, okay? It's got, um, it might be hard to see there in camera, but it's got uh, six pins, and they're all shorted together. So now that's gonna go in the, uh, 
in the socket and now we're shorted and I can hit the short test and then it will go through the cowl and it passes the cowl just fine. And when I bring it out, then it's measuring, yeah, point, point 0.2 femtoamps. So yes, it's calibrating really, really nice. So anyway, uh, nice little project. I think it'll be useful in the future. Maybe even making cal standards and stuff, have some, maybe some dedicated values that I can just pop on and um, do things with. Anyway, um, I've put the uh, board up on my uh, uh, PCBWay share site. If you want one of these things, you can download it. All right, there you go.